How's it going guys? Pass a little question, pharmacology, step one, internal medicine, 2CK. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give me a like, really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram, Melman underscore medical, MEHL, man underscore medical, links down below. Let me telegram, links to telegram, group a channel down below, and let's start the clip. 60, 60, the fuck am I saying? 26 year old man, he's got an episode of bleeding while brushing his teeth. Physical exam shows petechiae in the chest and arms. And so are we look at the laboratory studies here, hemoglobin low, nine grams per deciliter should be 13 to 17.5 males, non-menstruating women, 12 to 17.5 menstruating women. White blood cells super fucking elevated, 85,000 per microliter should be four to 11,000 per microliter. Platelets low, 10,000 should be 150 to 450,000 per microliter. Then we've got blasts, okay, which should be zero. This is extremely buzzy for AML. Okay, it's a long fucking discussion. Made tons of clips on this stuff in my heme playlist if you go through. But the way AML is gonna present, if they don't show you overtly the hour rods on a smear, which of course is very buzzy, it can just say 30% blasts, 50% blasts. That's what they like to do for AML, okay? So the question asked, prior to commencing a therapeutic regimen, in order to decrease the patient's risk of renal failure, it is most appropriate to administer a drug that inhibits or following. So let's just whip the answer to here. Choice A, B, Cerebial, tyrosine kinase. Wrong fucking answer. Refuse, refers to CML. Okay, so Philadelphia chromosome 922 translocation, B, Cerebial, forms an oncogenic tyrosine kinase. It's a fusion protein. And if you have CML, they can show you a smear, which will present as a motley mix or a soup, as I like to refer to it. And once again, it's in my heme PDF as well as in my playlist, lots of questions on it. And if they show you just the bloods, like similar to like what we have here, they're not going to say blast. They're going to say a bunch of myelo sounding cells. They'll say metamyelocytes, promyelocytes, just myelocytes. Okay. So all myelo sounding cells, that's CML. You can give a matinib to inhibit the BCR-ABL tyrosine kinase. Wrong fucking answer. Choice B, diatrophilia reductase, wrong fucking answer. First to methotrexate. Okay, so I mean methotrexate, uh, first line DMARD for rheumatoid arthritis. We manage RA. We're going to have two arms of therapy. We have the symptomatic arm, NSAIDs followed by steroids. Then we have the DMARDs, disease modifying antirheumatic drugs, which will slow disease trajectory. So that's going to be methotrexate first, hydrofolate reductase inhibitor. If we mitigate toxicity, we can do that with leucovorin rescue, which is folinic acid, not folic acid, folinic acid. Methotrexate, the other high yield use for uh, Yosemite is going to be the first oral agent for psoriasis. So if a patient fails topicals such as uh, calcipotriene, it's topical vitamin D, uh, triamcinolone or hydrocortisone, topical steroid, topical coal or pine tar, okay? You can go to oral methotrexate. I've seen that in one of the NBME exams. A lot we can talk about, okay, you can be aware methotrexate can cause pulmonary fibrosis, restrictive lung disease. Point is, wrong fucking answer. Choice C, ergosterol, wrong fucking answer. So ergosterol is the cholesterol equivalent in the fungal cell membrane. So could discuss farm for 20 minutes, all right? But amphotericin B and nystatin both poke holes in the ergosterol membrane. You've got azoles such as fluconazole, which inhibits ergosterol synthesis. So it inhibits 14-alpha demethylase or P450 mediated demethylation reaction, the conversion of lenostrol to ergosterol. You've got terbinafine, prevents the conversion of squalene. Uh, via squalene epoxase into lenostrol. We've got griseofolvin inhibits microtubules. Wrong fucking answer. Choice D, thymidylase synthase, wrong fucking answer. First to 5 fluorouracil pretty much a non-existent drug on USMLA. Okay, so uh, thymine, thymidylate, uh, so thymidine, so we're talking about uh, pyrimidine synthesis. So you can be aware of 5-FU, could be used for treatments of certain cancer, but I'm truthfully uh, thinking about across the MME exams, it's yieldness pretty much non-existent. We just learn different drugs, right? I mean, you learn about uh, 5 fluorouracil or mycophenolate mofetil or leflunamide or hydroxyurea, okay? I mean, hydroxyurea is the high yield one. That's That increases HBF and sickle cell, okay? Um, but 5 fluorouracil, low yield. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C is antioxidase, correct answer. So allopurinol or febuxostat inhibits antioxidase, which you're going to give <clears throat> in the treatment of many leukemias, including AML to prevent tumor lysis syndrome, which can lead to renal failure, okay? So if you're forced to choose electrolytes, uh, up or down arrows in the setting of tumor lysis syndrome, you're gonna choose the same exact arrows as renal failure, 
Okay, so you're going to select an up arrow for serum potassium, exceedingly high yield. Sodium can be variable, they're not going to ask you, but it's an up arrow for potassium, you would select an up arrow for phosphate, down arrow for calcium. You would select an up arrow for uric acid. Okay, you can get that in tumor lysis syndrome because you're lysing cells full of nucleic acid, okay? Renal failure, you're not going to have the nucleic acid, but apart from the, uh, uh, the increased uric acid in tumor lysis syndrome, all the arrows are the same as renal failure, okay? So it's very important you're aware that uh, allopurinol for buxostat, they prevent tumor lysis syndrome. And a tangential factoid is that if 6 mercaptopurine is given in the treatment of leukemia, such as for ALL in kids, then you can't give a xanthine oxidase inhibitor, okay? Because we require xanthine oxidase, functional xanthine oxidase for the breakdown of 6 mercaptopurine. So if 6MP is part of the therapeutic, uh, the chemotherapeutic regimen, you need to know xanthine oxidase inhibitors cannot be given, okay? It's a long discussion as far as leukemias. If it's ALL, you're going to have a kid and you're going to have a super fucking elevated white blood cell count. That's all lymphocytes. They would say 50,000 white blood cells, 90% lymphocytes in a kid. That's ALL. If it's an adult, same exact thing, CLL. And then we said AML is the case here. We have just blasts. They'll say 30% blast, 50% blast. That's it for AML. And then for CML, we said we'd have all the myelocytic cells, metamyelocytes, promyelocytes, myelocytes. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content if you like my stuff. Subscribe my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.